What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing a McAllen classic cut rundown starting over here with 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. The 2021 hasn't come out yet. They come out every year closer to fall. So around September, um, early September anyway. Gonna start over here with the 2017, which is pretty much obsolete, long gone. 97,000 bottles at least were made for each year, as far as I know. And it seems like they kept production around the same from what I could tell, but I could be wrong about that with the newer expressions. The original was only 90,000, very hard to get now. These do have some collectability, I'm gonna talk about that, but I'm gonna talk about how they taste first. So the 2017, I believe was the highest ABV at 58.4. color is actually really nice on this this one if I'm not mistaken is all European oak all seasoned sherry uh, oak casks from Jerez Spain all European oak on this one all right if you track back to the old cast strength you'll see that those are going for astronomical prices now obviously they're not available retail but you'd have to buy that secondary they weren't supposed to be a big secondary item they became that because of the limited availability now of those bottles i obviously suspect that that's going to happen with these as well really nice nose on this one i haven't revisited this 2017 for a very long time wow So I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently. I'm gonna nose taste each, then I'm gonna go back and tell you which one I like from first to last. If you want an actual score, you can go back. I'm gonna link below to all of the videos I've done on the McAllen Classic Cuts so far. And you can watch for my specific grade, but keep in mind how I rank them because that's actually more important than the grade I gave them in the past. Wow, really nice nose on this. Definitely European oak sherry on this one. Although it is seasoned casks, you can tell they took a little bit more time with this one. Definitely some bite at 58.4, but definitely much more sherry driven than I'm recalling from these ones. Very interesting. Lots of sherry on this one. Curious to know how old it is. My guess based on the taste, I mean, so arbitrary to do that, but I would say probably around eight to 10 years old. Very good. Gonna move on to the 2018 now. Very similar, although kick back a little bit on the sherry. Again, it says sherry seasoned oak casks from Jerez, Spain. So we can assume that that's all European as well. And it's Oloroso sherry to be exact. Okay, so this one's opened up quite a bit, uh, despite being pretty close to the top. This one is on loan to me uh, by my neighbor, my buddy Dave. The first one is on loan to me by my buddy Paulo. And this one here is on loan to me by my buddy Anthony. I didn't want to reopen these bottles. Um, this one on the end here is mine, the 2020. But I've already drank through a bottle of each of these, so I didn't want to go through another one. Little bit more well-rounded on the 2018 51.2 much less bite and you can tell right away a seven point difference on that nice apples nice um, McAllen characteristic on it 
All of these you'll be able to tell right away that you're drinking a Macallan. It just has that note that everybody has come to know when drinking a Macallan. So let's see how 2019 is. Very, very similar on the nose to the 2018. So far, uh, the 2017 is much more sherry rich than the next two. 52.9 on the 2019. All right, so full point difference point and a half difference on the 2019 versus the 2018 I believe the 2018 is the lowest ABV not I believe it is the lowest ABV the 2017 is the highest ABV all right so This one so far has the most pencil shavings kind of note that I don't like in Macallan, but it's sweet. All three of these are really, really good. Um, definitely my favorite of the categories that Macallan has in the affordable range. Really, really nice. All three of these are really good. Let's go to the last one, which is the only one with American oak as well. Um, it's It's got bourbon cask actually, uh, which is different than it's three predecessors, 55% to 2020. Let's see how it is. Sweeter nose. And you do get a little bit of that vanilla because of that bourbon cask. All of them have a nice like cinnamon hit on them. Yeah, definitely the bourbon cast sticks out one side by side with the others. This is tough. They're really good. They're all really good. All right, gonna taste these all one more time off camera. Then I will tune back and let you guys know exactly which one's the best in my opinion and why you should be buying these. All right, so this is my opinion. And it's only my opinion. I don't have the facts behind these. These are my guesses as to why the ABV kind of went really high, then low, then back up again. Um, I like the 2017 the best, and it's clearly the most flavorful. Obviously, the 58 plus percent definitely does its trick here. You can tell next to these ones that it's a lot darker in color. Uh, these are all natural color because of the classic cut style. It's the way they cut their whiskey. These all have a very similar profile. So they're all really good. The 2017 is the best in my opinion. Also probably the oldest or at least equal to what I think the 2020 is. And the reason why I think the 2020 is just as old, if not maybe even a touch older is because it's got those bourbon casks in there that McAllen tends to use at a higher age. Uh, because they want to get rid of them because they don't use a lot of bourbon casks in their overall portfolio. So this one right here is probably my number two. I really like it. Then I'm going to go backwards and say 2019, then 2018 is the least favorite of the group. Um, so again, favorite is the 2017, then the 2020, going backwards to the 2019, 2018. I think the 2018 is the youngest of the bunch and the reason why i say that is it has this kind of flavor that i get from new make that only a younger whiskey obviously could have and it's the lowest in abv i have a funny feeling that because this was the youngest they decided to drop the abv the most out of all of these i could be wrong i'm just venturing a guess uh but also Flavor and ABV go hand in hand. You're gonna get more flavor out of a higher ABV than a lower ABV, which is probably why I like the 2017 the most next to the 2020, then 2019, then 2018. I do have my suspicion as to age as well, thinking that the higher ABVs are older than the lower ABVs, but I could be wrong. 
That's it for me, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, check out my other videos on McAllen Classic Cuts, the actual reviews for each of these. I will link to them. I will post them in this video. You guys can check those out. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Get that thumb. Make sure you get those thumbs because that's what really gets the analytics going. Got a bunch more things coming in the next few months. I hope you guys like where we're going with the channel. If you do, leave it in the comments below. I really want to know what you think. Very curious to know what you think about the Friday cocktail series and the other things that I have going on on this channel. So let me know. Cheers, guys.